why the soil is red in Kenya? I heard people immediately answer it is because it has a lot of clay in it. But why clay is red? Clay is red because of the presence of iron oxides, particularly hematite. When iron in the clay comes into contact with oxygen, it undergoes a process similar to rusting, forming a reddish-brown compound that colors the clay. Kenya's soils often look reddish because they too contain a lot of iron oxides. Much of Kenya sits on old volcanic rocks and ash. When these rocks weather over time, they release minerals, including iron. Kenya has experienced long periods of warm, wet tropical weather. In such climates, silica and many other minerals are leached, washed away, leaving behind iron and aluminium compounds. The iron in the soil reacts with oxygen and moisture, forming oxides such as hematite and gertite. Both oxides were used as pigments for cave paintings since prehistoric times. People call these pigments ochre. Ochre has different shades – yellow, red, purple and brown, the purple ochre being very rare. These minerals give soils their red, orange and yellow hues. In some places, especially central highlands, like around Nairobi, Rift Valley and western Kenya, the red soils are laterites. It's very old, highly weathered soils, rich in iron and aluminium oxides. Tsavo area sits on ancient lava flows and volcanic rocks. It is drier than central Kenya. Less rainfall means less leaching of iron, so the oxides stay near the surface and concentrate, deepening the red hue. Because the land is open savanna with little vegetation cover, wind and animal activity, especially elephants, kick up fine red dust, which coats everything, even animals like the famous red elephants of Tsavo. Interesting fact, sand is yellow due to the presence of oxidized iron impurities too. Those impurities are embedded within sand's quartz crystals, or may be present in the surrounding minerals that mix with the sand grains. The weathering of parent rocks and subsequent processes like wind, rain and ocean currents break these minerals down, and the resulting iron-rich particles give the sand its characteristic yellow hue. Another interesting fact, Mars is red because its surface is covered in fine dust, also containing iron oxide, which is essentially rust. Like some people say, you didn't have to know it, but now since you know it, you won't forget it.